Welcome to Home Tiny Lab. Today we are going to uh, upgrade or to migrate from FreeNAS to TrueNAS. In my home lab environment, I have two servers a FreeNAS server and an XPNG server. Uh, both are using consumer, or consumer hardware. <laughs> Using the correct IP will help. Okay, Freenas login as root login. Okay. Um, let's check what we are using for the moment. Services, uh, dynamic DNS, iSCSI, SMB, and SSH. Uh, jails. Two jails are running, think thing and transmission, and virtual machines. Plex, virtual machine, and Docker. So all those instances have to run again after the upgrade okay let's do the upgrade check for updates there we will see the current train is freenos 11.3 going to another train tunas 12 dot zero and download updates um, save configuration settings from this machine before updating uh -huh. yeah. there is no password secret seed to be saved Save configuration will be put in the download file in the download directory from your browser. Apply update and reboot system after downloading. Download starting job now is retrieving the files that have to be downloaded. There are three files to be downloaded and then the same tree have to be installed and then the system will reboot uh, once to install the configuration to adapt the configuration and then a second time to boot into TrueNAS Core what is the open source version of uh, TrueNAS Now it's downloading the Freenos package tools. That's the... Already the third one that's downloaded. Now he's updating. And now he's installing. And then afterwards, when he reboots, the update process will begin. Okay, installing the second uh, package. Installing the third package. Okay, the system is rebooting now. Let's go over to the capture card to see how the system is rebooting. Now uh, the system is doing is shut down now. Syncing the disks, okay. The system is down. And it's starting up again. Here we have the TrueNAS logo. So we changed from FreeNAS to TrueNAS. 
auto boot in four or five seconds. Okay, scanning the hardware that's present. Migrating the data. Mm -hmm. Shutting down again, I think, yeah. back to posting okay that's a good sign already <laughs> mm -hmm. okay back again in trunas Auto boot in five seconds. Scanning the hardware. Um, all disks are seen. USB USB stick is seen by the system Okay, finally syncing disks. Um, I think that with retrying he has found uh, or detected correctly the the eight disk on port SATA seven. But we will see when Trunas is booted for sure. Mm hmm. Okay, setting up a uh, network, I see, okay, I see already that my system has detected the ice cozy. it's one of the services, okay, I've got the login, so I am switching now to the browser on my main screen, I will log in again, my roots, Login. That's not true, NAS. That's free, NAS. Ah, okay. Refresh of the browser. Browser does a miracle. Okay, looking for help. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, get started. Two volumes are correctly but still a problem with one drive okay here we see Trunas core uh, let's see if uh, everything is started up correctly uh, first thing services dynamic DNS okay iSCSI okay SMB I will check this if it's workable Let's open File Explorer 
and go to the NAS. Okay, all shares are present. And that's nice. Um, what SSH? Okay, we can test that also. SSH. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, I receive an uh, answer and may enter my password, so that's also working. Okay. Let's go to the jails. Sync thing is up and transmission is working. Let's go to virtual machines. There are two that have to, have to run. Docker is running, but a problem with Plex VM. Let's try to find the reason for this. Uh, maybe it will generate an error if I try to start it. Okay. Fail to set up NIC device, uh, NIC attach, uh, more info. P -p 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 okay, let's go to the devices. Uh, that's here, devices. Here you have the NIC. Let's edit to see. Okay, there's no Mac. Generate, generate Mac. Uh, I think that need to attach also. So that's the physical nick where the virtual machine is attached to. That's, this is the real uh, network interface of the server where the VM is attached to. Um, save. And let's try, let's go again to virtual machines and try to start it up again. Okay. So that's start booting up. Uh, we can look at the boot up of this. Let's open a VNC session. Okay, starting up. Let's look on the not is working on the system. No, okay. CPU is working. Okay, the system is started up. Uh, we can close now this. So this was the upgrade uh, to Trunas. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. Um, and hopefully we will see us next time uh, in some other Trunas discoveries. Thank you for watching.